Next from the Monsoor Law Firm Sports Desk. All right, so there's some new hardware coming back from Jerry's World. Some Beast Texas football teams are coming back state champions. Serenity Douglas tells us what it took for the Gilmer Buckeyes to hold up their fourth state title. The Gilmer Buckeyes are your 4A Division II state champions over the Belleville Brahmas. And I think a good word to describe the way they played is electric because they came out and showed out from the very beginning, not letting up not one bit. Here come those Gilmer Buckeyes ready to take home the state championship trophy. Hayden Tennyson giving it to the beast who's been unleashed. That's Will Henderson picking up some good gains for the Bucks. But now they're in the red zone and Tennyson, he throws it to Brendan Webb and he would not get down until the end zone. Buckeyes tie the game up at seven now. Then later in the first, Gilmer right at the goal line and on fourth down, Caden Tennyson with the quarterback keeper. Coach said he can take a hit and it shows. It's now 14 to seven, just like that. Belleville is looking to respond now, and that's Zach Luchner swinging out, spotting his man in the end zone and finally throwing it. But Brendan Webb said, give me that. With an interception in the end zone for Gilmer. We can't keep calm either, auntie. Brendan's our nephew too now. But it's all about what you do with the turnover on possession. If you don't stop this guy right here, there's no stopping him anytime soon. That's Will Henderson taking some hits, but channeling his state track and field championship speed to go all the way to the end zone. Then less than a minute left in the first half. Tennyson spots to Eric Tate, and all he had to do was make the catch and stay in bounds, and that's exactly what he did, taking it all the way to the house, making it 28 to 20 at halftime. As we head into the second half of the game, Belleville is down by two in the fourth quarter, but keep your eyes on Belleville's D.D. Murray taking a step, but immediately clipped at the legs by Braden Pate. The Brahmas are gaining absolutely nothing. There's 40 seconds left on the clock. Tennyson with a good handoff to the Will Henderson. It's looking like he can't get around the pack, but he breaks out of the corner, putting the Buckeyes closer to the end zone with that first down. But Gilmer will kneel and take the state championship victory, 28 to 26. With multiple state appearances, they were finally able to pull off the win. We shot the world. The last time Gilmer won state was in 2014 when they were led by the Jeff Trailer. Coach Trailer came to support from UTSA and feel so much pride in Gilmer. You know, I just, I love those guys so much. Uh, my former players, former assistants, just, it's my home, right? So I'm thrilled for Alan Metzl and all those coaches, those kids. That community, it means a lot. And uh, happy for East Texas as well. East Texas is another one. There's just so many stories. I got a nephew, I got a cousin, I got former players, former coaches. It's just they're all my people. And uh, from Rick Albritton down, the superintendent, the school board, all those people in that community, the administration, everybody loves the Buckeyes. And it gives me a lot of pride. Some athletes are adding more state titles to their resume across different sports. Uh, it feels good. And uh, we really just, we got to prepare for track season and get ready to go get us another one. Honestly, I feel like we got a great chance. You know, we lost two guys. We lost Rowan Tyson. But I feel like we got some good athletes coming up to replace them. Coach Metzl spoke about the rocky start in their season and where they are now. It wasn't like all of a sudden the next day it got better. Uh, those after week one, we recognize, OK, we've got some things we've got to do. You know, you have guys that are starting tonight. They were on our JV and our fre freshman team that night, you know, that week. And so we had to move people up. And then you had to uh, we tweaked our uh, or overhauled, quite frankly, our scheme to fit our personnel better. We went from an odd front to an even front because we felt like that fit some of the guys better. Uh, so there were a handful of things. Coach Edwards and his staff just they, they went to work. And, and sometimes seeing the difference in uh, that you saw today, it, it's not like it just happened between week nine and ten. It wasn't just between four and five. It was after week one and two. It's just we weren't at the place where we could push the pendulum over yet. And uh, so they just, you know, kept working.
he kept working. And uh, I think that's something you can teach people that you carry on to life. This was the perfect way to end the Gilmore Buckeye season on top, 28 to 26. They're going to sleep real good tonight, knowing that the rest of East Texas might have slept on them. I'm Serenity Douglas here in Arlington, CBS 19.